Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 19th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about a risk to the Southwest water supply, in particular, the Colorado River's water supply and focusing in on the reservoir, the large reservoir that serves California, Arizona, and Nevada at Lake Mead. Historically, the Colorado River Basin is in a drought period that is now stretching toward two decades long. And as of 2016, water levels at Lake Mead hit a range of 1,070 to 1,075 feet, which would have triggered mandatory reductions from Lake Mead's water supply were it not for voluntary restrictions in the range of 375,000 acre feet per year from the states taking from the Lake Mead water supply which were, were voluntary restrictions that aimed at increasing Lake Mead water levels by 100 feet. And I'm just gonna look at this, this graph provided by the lakesonline.com site, which monitors Lake, Lake Mead, to show you the low level point in 2016 and the subsequent re, uh, recovery in 2017 by just about 20 feet and the preceding follow-on reductions in Lake Mead water levels that occurred this year, ranging back toward levels that again risk triggering mandatory reductions in water allotments from Lake Mead. So it's worth noting that the voluntary reductions did help, but they did not add 100 feet of, of water levels to Lake Mead, and Lake Mead is still ranging toward historic low levels and endangering a, a triggering of, of further reductions from the Lake Mead water supply. Now, let's talk about what's happening and, and why the Colorado River Basin and Lake Mead in particular are, are seeing such severe water level reductions. Well, the first answer and the short answer is that temperatures across the U.S. Southwest are rising. And these rising temperatures are driven by human-caused climate change, which is in turn driven by fossil fuel emissions. This map of divisional average temperature rankings is provided by NOAA, and it shows that the Colorado River Basin region from September of 2017 through August of 2018 was the hottest on record. Now, this hot spate of temperatures did not occur in isolation. From the 20, 2000 to 2015 period, the Southwest experienced much warmer than normal temperatures, according to this map provided by NOAA as well. And in addition to that, the U.S. West has seen year after year of, of drought, and the present year is no exception, with the Colorado River region presently experiencing exceptional drought, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. And this is the highest rating of drought that is available for a region. So in short, Lake Mead is feeling the impacts of human-caused climate change. It's worth noting that overall precipitation levels across the U.S. West are, are not falling as much as temperatures are rising. And these rising temperatures are increasing rates of evaporation, which is the primary driver for the increasing prevalence 
of drought conditions across this region. So in short, fossil fuel burning primarily is heating up the Southwest, which is causing harder and harder hits to Lake Mead water supply. Now, as I mentioned before, approximately, I'm, I'm gonna issue a correction here, approximately 345,000 acre feet of water per year has been held back to Lake Mead, Lake Mead to enable a, a, an attempted restoration of the water supply there. But this has not been able to keep up with the impacts of warming across the region, which are resulting in further reductions of Lake Mead water levels. And this is triggering a, a risk that Lake Mead will hit a, a point of no return by as early as 2026 with water officials indicating that there's a one in five chance that Lake Mead hits a dead pool in the event of, of severe drought con conditions over the next eight years. And this one in five chance is not immaterial. It's a 25% it's a chance. So, so there's, there's a significant risk of a very significant loss of water from the Lake Mead water supply. And as a result, water officials are asking to reduce, to further reduce allotments from Lake Mead to around 750,000 acre feet per year, which all things being equal would add about eight feet per year to the water supply and provide more of a cushion for the increasing droughts and rising temperatures that are occurring over the region. This also, the, the, these calls for conservation also come with a planned increases in costs for water across parts of Arizona. So just to sum up, human-caused climate change is, is putting a serious crimp on Lake Mead and endangering water supplies across the Southwest. I wouldn't venture to say that this is a doomsday scenario, but it's, it, it's an increasingly difficult scenario and one that worsens so long as temperatures continue to rise across the Southwest and temperatures will continue to rise so long as fossil fuel burning continues. As for measures that are now being undertaken to conserve water, these are certainly admirable. However, if officials across Arizona also look to reduce fossil fuel burning along the Colorado River, fossil fuel plants such as coal plants and natural gas plants are big water hogs. So this would also reduce water needs across the Colorado River basin while also reducing the Southwest contribution to a climate crisis that is putting water supplies at risk. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.